Hello there. Gentleman Joe coming at you today with another energy drink review. Today we're trying out Adrenaline. It's a new line. I saw all eight flavors at Shaw's. I'm not sure if they have more flavors, but I figured I would at least give them a shot and let you guys know what you should be drinking in terms of these flavors. And we're going to talk about the contents and whatnot. Zero calories, zero grams of fat, 105 milligrams of sodium, zero carbs, zero sugars, zero protein, 52 milligrams of potassium, niacin, 8 milligrams, vitamin B6, 0 0.09 milligrams, folic acid, 50 uh, MCG, I'm not sure what that measurement is, vitamin B12, 50% of your day, daily average, I think. I think that's what this is supposed to be. And magnesium, 11 milligrams. It's got essential amino acids, BCAAs, ocean mineral electrolytes, and natural caffeine, 300 milligrams, same course as the other ones. So, we have eight flavors here, and I will, this is totally blind. Completely blind, I haven't tried a single one of these yet. Um, don't ask me how I'm gonna be after drinking eight of these, I'm not drinking all of them all at the same time. We have contingencies in place for that, my friends. So, without further ado, I'll stop wasting your time. We'll crack this open, give it a sniff. Kind of smells peachy, um, but this is just called Smart Energy. There's no flavor attached to this one, so this must be their proprietary flavor. Let's give it a shot. I can't even place a flavor to this. It's nice and smooth though. It tastes kind of like a peach mango. It tastes kind of, it's definitely got some kind of mango-y in there. It tastes like peach mango, but I think they already have a peach mango. Unless I'm totally off track here with what peach mango tastes like, but this tastes like peach mango. It's definitely, it's some kind of mango in here. This one's not bad, probably not my favorite. I don't know if I'd buy this one again. Um, so I'm gonna put this in a, I'm gonna make a pile over here to the right, you won't see it. And that's gonna be my maybe pile, so we'll put it in the maybe pile. There's gonna be three piles. Bad, like, won't ever buy it again. Maybe, if it's present and I feel like I need a kick of energy and this is all I got, I'll drink it and good, yes. I'm gonna buy this more often, as often as I see it. That's our three criteria. Bad, maybe, good. All right, so now that we have that in place, Adrenaline Shock proprietary flavor is a mate. So we're gonna move on to Frozen Ice. This is the white one. This is when they started numbering cans and actually adding a flavor, so we'll give this one a shot. Caution, not recommended for use by individuals under age of 18. Too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleepiness, and occasionally rapid heart rate. Alright, very cool. Excellent. Let's go. Let's continue this review, shall we? Give it the smell test. It smells kind of like marshmallows. This is like a, kind of like a Sprite. This is like a Sprite. It's like a Sprite, slightly more lemony. It's good, this one's good. This is going in the good pile. This is uh, Adrenaline Frozen Ice. This is like a uh, lemon, a lemon lime soda kind of thing. It tastes like a, it tastes like a Sprite. Um, it's pretty good, it's not bad. We'll continue, this is going in the good pile. Flavor number three, sour candy. I assume this is gonna be a green apple flavor. My favorite green apple flavored drink was Mountain Dew Green Label. They just continued that in like late 2017, early 2018. So I've been searching for something to hopefully reclaim the throne as a good green apple. I don't like Rain's green apple. I don't know if Bang has one, but I haven't. No, Bang does have one. Uh, it's okay, but it's not the same. It's like a little too soury. So I'm going to be interested to try this one out and see how it goes. It's definitely got an apple smell to it, so let's just go for it.
Yep, definitely green apple. Definitely green apple. Not a bad aftertaste. Aftertaste comes into play a lot with these two because sometimes these artificial sweeteners can give you a really shitty aftertaste. But sometimes the flavoring with the sweeteners gives you a bad aftertaste as well, so you gotta kind of gotta judge it a little bit. But this one's not bad. It still doesn't capture the full green green label flavor from what I remember. But I put this in line with the the bang. I want to say the bang is called Sour Heads. It's definitely green apple. It doesn't still doesn't taste as good as the Mountain Dew green label, but it's definitely better than the Rain green apple. Um, it's not bad, it's good. I'm gonna put this one in the good pile. I'll drink this one. So, flavor number four, we got Fruit Punch. My buddy said that this one's really, really good. So we'll try this one. I might even make a fourth tier for really, really good, as in like, I'm gonna go out of my way to buy it kind of thing. Kind of like Red Dragon. Definitely Fruit Punchy. This is legitimately Hawaiian punch, just carbonated. That's all this is. Yeah, this is really good. This is going in the really good pile. The really, really good pile. So now we have four tiers. Bad, maybe, good, really, really good. Nothing's been bad yet, and we're halfway through the taste test here. Let's try number five, watermelon. The only other watermelon flavor out there is Neon Blast and, um, what is it? Uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel Watermelon, zero calories. I think that like Rainbow Unicorn from Bang has a little bit of watermelon in it, but that's, I can't really put a, a name to that Rainbow Unicorn flavor. I do like it. So let's go for this wa watermelon. Definitely smells like watermelon. It's like extra fizzy at the end there. I don't know how to, ex how to describe it. I was hoping this one would be better, honestly. Um, it's not bad. It just doesn't have a forefront watermelon taste like the Game Fuel does. It's okay. It's okay. It's going in the bottom tier of the maybes. It borders the line of bad as in, like, not my flavor, not what I was hoping out of watermelon to, to maybe I'll buy it. It's, it's like right on the cusp of failing, honestly. That's a shame. That really is a shame. I was hoping that one was going to be good. Alright, on the number six. Got cotton candy. I'm probably going to not like this one. Cotton candy doesn't tend to be a flavor I like. I think Rain's Carnival candies really good and I think it's better than Bang's cotton candy so maybe this will be something to flatten the curve of those yeah it's definitely cotton candy now if it's like kind of like subtle if it's not like completely in your face cotton candy I might like this one better I think I like the cotton candy type flavor when it's like there but like when it's present but not like abrasively present like the like the banks but it's i will like i said cotton i shouldn't be judging cotton candy because i don't like it but i'll at least tell you which one i think is the best this tastes exactly the same as banks no um not a fan and I can, like, it tastes just like cotton candy right at the start, and then the, like, flavor, like, just falls off. It just falls off for some reason. Not a fan of this one. I don't like it. I'm gonna put this one in the no category. This one is a no from me. So this one's, like, right next to watermelon, so... I'm, I'm laying these out in terms of likeness, how much I like them. So, that's probably the best way to do this. It's kind of the adrenaline tier list, if you will. Number seven, we have a Kai Berry. Just this purple can here, and it throws me off because it's purple. I need a grape. If anyone from Bang of Rain ever sees this, get me a grape stat. Actually, I think 
Bang has a grape. But I don't remember liking it, so make it better. Um, I need a grape. Someone's gotta do grape something. Uh, right now I'm drinking grape monsters and when I want that grape flavor. That's the best I can do. Uh, so let's try Akai Berry. I don't even know what Akai is. Um, uncultured white dude from North New Hampshire, so why, why would I even know what Akai is? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's take a look. See. It smells great, kind of grapey. It's not. I don't know what an Akai is, so it's like... But regardless... I should be able to tell if I like something or not, even if I don't like the, the flavor. So like, because I don't know what an Akai is, regardless of me not knowing what an Akai actually is, an Akai berry. If the flavor is good to me, I'll buy it and drink it. And this is not the case. I don't like this. This is going to go in the no category. It is more of a no than the cotton candy. That's the only one that's like, I'm just not about. I just don't like it. Um, I really don't like it. I really don't like it. Last one. Peach mango. Now, I already said that the first one tasted kind of peach mango-y, and that's like in the maybe section. So I guess we'll open this one and, and we'll take a look and see what a real peach mango tastes like and see how far off I am. It smells it smells like the like the black one. It's just it's just it's peachy. It's just got peach on it. This is very similar to the black one, but it's got a strong peach flavor. I'm not huge on peach. It's not my favorite flavor. This is gonna hover. This is going basically in the same spot as cotton candy. So, in terms of adrenaline, here is what I have: a kai, a kai berry. That's a no me gusta for me. We got cotton candy. That's also not for me either. You may like it. I don't like it. I think Bang and Rain have a better flavor in terms of cotton candy. Um, try the Adrenaline for yourself, but if you hate it, those are two other alternatives that you might like. We got Peach Mango. Um, nothing special about it. It tastes like an average Peach Mango. It tastes like the black uh, Adrenaline, but it's kind of meh. It's just meh. Very meh. Uh, I put that in the no category because Peach Mango is not really a flavor I like anyways, but... I still think the other ones did it a little bit better. We got watermelon, which was abhorrently, abhorrently disappointing to me. I was really disappointed with that one. So all we got right now for alternatives is Neon, neon Blast from Rockstar Thermo, which probably won't catch on and will disappear to time, and uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel Zero Cal. So that's the only alternatives for that. We got Black Adrenaline Original Flavor, which just tastes like peach mango with a lot less peach. It's, it's, let me try it again, but it really is... It's really mango-y. It's just kind of, it's just meh. It's just meh. I was hoping by seeing the black that would it would be like Miami Cola from Bang, which is kind of like a Coke type flavor, but zero calories. I was kind of hoping that that's what this would be. Uh, that's not the case. Um, it's like, maybe as in like if it's there, I'll drink it. If not, then I'll pass it over. Um, definitely just not, meh, it's just meh. It's meh, it's so, it's, so, it's all right, it's all right. Here we got the sour candy, Coming in at number three for me. Um, it's all right. It's pretty good. It's a good green apple. Then we have the sprite type flavor, the like almost lemon limeade. I wish that that these flavor names 
would kind of tell you what it is. Carnival candy tells you, okay, this is going to be cotton candy. Frozen ice it doesn't really tell me what it is. It's it, it, this, it doesn't say like lemon limeade. Really, it doesn't. So I, that's one thing I I gotta dock some points on. And then fruit punch is the best of the bunch. So of the eight, three flavors are good to me, and five I'm kind of not thrilled about. So. Uh, I hope Adrenaline increases their their flavor repertoire. It's cool that they came out with as many flavors off the bat as they did. Um, I just don't like most of them. I'm still looking for a decent grape. Akai Berry gets the Bamboozle Award for bamboozling me with the purple can and not tasting like grape. Um, so thanks for that. Uh, definitely, yeah, so Fruit Punch. Fruit Punch is really it. Fruit Punch and Frozen Ice. Um, the Frozen Ice, now that I think about it a little bit more, the Frozen Ice is, is decent because it's not like a Spritey type flavor in the other brands as well. So that's kind of that's kind of their, their niche flavor. And the Fruit Punch is good. Not better than Rain's Red Dragon. It just isn't. The Red Dragon so far is king. Um, it's going to be hard to top that one. But... Here's an alternative. Should you not like Red Dragon, but still want that Hawaiian Punch flavor, there's your Adrenaline. So, I hope you enjoyed this review of eight Adrenaline flavors. Uh, if, you, if you like these videos, I'll continue doing more of them. Uh, it's just kind of like fun, like, eh, whatever kind of thing to do. It's, you know, it's, it's easy, it's quick, it's not bad, and it uh, helps you guys figure out if these are actually worth your money. So, still working on how to do a tier list, and this video was very helpful for me. So maybe, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy every single flavor. Bang, and Rain, and Rockstar. I'm gonna try them all out, and then place them on a big long line of, based on uh, my tastes and how well I like them. So yeah, there's that, and that's gonna, I'm gonna have to plan that video out, because that's a, a lot of flavors. That is a ton of flavors. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know, and I'll keep making more. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your support and your help with these videos. I really do appreciate it, and I, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's fun for me. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.